Today, we know Emanuel Medical Center as a technologically advanced 209-bed acute care hospital, complete with the only heart attack receiving center between Modesto and Fresno, a state-of-the-art cancer center, and level four emergency and trauma care. But those who have lived their whole lives in Turlock know it's come a long way in the hundred years since opening its doors. In 1917, Turlock was a tiny town and modern medicine was in its infancy. Treatment for tuberculosis involved lying flat in a sanitarium for six months at a time, and antibiotics wouldn't be discovered for another dozen years. But what Turlock lacked in big city amenities and modern healthcare, it made up for in kind-hearted visionaries, like Reverends August Delbon and E.N. Train, and doctors Albert and Eric Jewelline, who appealed to the Swedish Evangelical Missionary Association to sponsor the construction of a new hospital. Between individuals and businesses, some 87 generous donors set out to raise $25,000 to pay for a brick hospital that was to be built on Canal Drive, one block east of Main Street. Erection of the building began as soon as $10,000 was raised, helped by a generous $1,000 gift from the Julien brothers. Brick by brick, room by room, and patient by patient, the hospital was built. And on June 10, 1917, Emanuel Hospital opened its doors for the first time with 34 beds and two full operating rooms. The hospital was more than just a building. It was a promise to help, to heal, and to bring hope to all who entered. The next year, Emanuel Hospital School of Nursing began its first class, headlined by six students, and the school educated local nurses for the better part of the next two decades helping them grow into caring, compassionate health caregivers. The doctors and nurses worked hard to foster the health of the town, but the hospital needed infrastructure upgrades to keep up with the growing community. So in 1960, the board voted to expand and relocate to a new campus on Delbon Avenue. That same year, the Emanuel Auxiliary was founded, and within months of its formation, the Auxiliary had grown to 275 members and was already leaving its mark on the hospital's ability to provide comfort and care. In 1966, the brand new campus opened its doors for the very first time. It was a chance to renew the original promise to bring help, hope, and healing to the community. The new 78-bed facility built on 28.7 acres with plenty of room to grow and expand into the future, came at a cost of $1.7 million. There was great pride in the new structure. The new hospital was the largest building permit ever issued by the city of Turlock. Once local leaders saw the impact and value of the improvements, they started pouring their hearts and souls into planning even more upgrades like the $1.5 million Ben H. and Gladys Arcalian Mental Health Wing and Brandel Manor that opened in 1970. By 1974, Emanuel had transformed into much more than a simple hospital with so many new facilities and services that the hospital board voted to change the name to something that would better represent what Emanuel had become, a name that Turlock would come to know and depend on. Emanuel Medical Center. Throughout the 1970s, Emanuel Medical Center continued to advance and make improvements to technology and facilities that would ultimately lead to enhanced care and treatment, including an outpatient and diagnostic wing, the expansion of Brandel Manor, and the purchase of Turlock Community Hospital. Committed to compassionate care in all stages of the life cycle, Emmanuel launched hospice services in the 1980s. The social, spiritual, and emotional needs of terminally ill patients and their families continues today through the mission of Covenant Care at Home and hospice. In 1986, a $3.5 million expansion of remodeling projects at the Delbon campus, including a 24-hour minor emergency treatment center, outpatient surgery, and additional birthing rooms to the obstetrics department was completed. The next year, Brandel Manor expanded to 209 beds, making it the largest skilled nursing facility in all of the San Joaquin Valley 
and giving Turlock a place to compassionately care for those who had needed skilled nursing care. The Turlock Diagnostic Center, a joint venture between Emanuel and area physicians working in radiology, physical therapy, nuclear medicine, ultrasound, and mammography, was opened in 1989, laying the groundwork for the future cancer center at the hospital. Sadly, not everything was good news, as a suspected arson fire devastated half of the old Emanuel building on Canal Drive in 1998. And a year later, a second suspicious blaze destroyed all but the elevator shaft of what had remained of the original Emanuel Hospital. But while the physical structure of the original hospital was gone, the spirit and the vision of the founders was as vibrant as ever at Emanuel's Delbon campus. When the 21st century arrived, Emmanuel was ready to take its promise to the community to another level with the founding of Legacy Circle, the annual giving club that brought healthcare and the community together. Soon after, Legacy Circle of Emmanuel launched a fundraising drive to build a brand new birthing center and raised more than $600,000 in only six weeks. This, on top of the very generous $2 million in matching funds pledged by the Rogers Family Foundation, enabled the Mary Stuart Rogers Birthing Center to open in 2003. What followed was an emergence of new facilities and new services, including the three-story Emanuel Critical Care Center. Opening in 2007, the $30 million expansion added 64,000 square feet of space, featuring a first floor emergency department, second floor critical care unit, a third floor with all private rooms, and a rooftop heliport. Also in 2007, a collaboration and partnership between Stanford Hospital and Clinics, Stanford Medical School, and Emanuel Medical Center resulted in advanced cancer care being delivered in Turlock when the doors opened at the new Emanuel Cancer Center. No longer would the community have to drive out of the area for cancer treatment. In 2010, community fundraising efforts to establish a cancer endowment received a $1 million gift from the Alam adult children in memory of their parents. This major gift fully established the $4.3 million Bill and Elsie Alam Cancer Endowment for cancer prevention, education, and treatment for the community. A few years later, there was another major milestone in delivering care to the community. The launch of a cardiac program at Emanuel. In spring 2010, Emanuel opened the Cardiac Cath and Interventional Lab. A year later, Emanuel received designation as the only heart attack receiving center between Modesto and Fresno. Shortly after, cardiac surgeons performed the first open heart surgery at Emanuel in the Justin Ferrari Cardiovascular Operating Suites. The new suites were made possible by a half million dollar gift from the Ferrari family and the support of other community donations. Our volunteers continue to support the hospital in many ways, including hospitality at Emanuel Cancer Center and support at the hospital's surgery waiting area, the front desk, and the gift shop. Changing the way children cope with grief, Emanuel opened Jessica's house in spring 2012. Jessica's house provides a safe place for children, teens, young adults, and their families who are grieving a death. The program continues today under the umbrella of EMC Health Incorporated and serves over 250 children every month. One of the most important events in Emanuel's long and storied history occurred in 2014 when Tenet Healthcare acquired Emanuel Medical Center, giving the hospital the sound operational and financial footing necessary to thrive in its second century of service. Tenet committed to invest $30 million over the next several years to improve and upgrade the hospital buildings and equipment, as well as recruit new physicians to the community. The transition was successful and enhanced Emanuel's century-long promise to deliver quality care to area residents in need. Earlier this year, for instance, the Stanford Emanuel Radiation Oncology Center announced plans to add a second linear accelerator 
a machine that generates targeted beams of radiation to kill specific cancer cells. With every new technique and every upgrade, Emmanuel is working to ensure our community doesn't ever have to go out of the area to receive quality care and advanced services. Over the past hundred years, we've learned that a hospital is much more than just a building or technology or even people. It is all those things together, working toward the promise of helping people, families, and the community live longer, better, and healthier lives. For 100 proud years, Emmanuel has kept its promise, and over the next 100 years, it's a promise we will continue to keep. Emmanuel Medical Center, one community, one mission, 100 years.